We thank the Lord who has given us the privilege to come together once again. Yesterday, we were online, and the Lord really blessed us through the ministration of our brother in the Lord and our pastors. God really blessed our soul. And God has been doing great things in every one of our lives. I pray that the fire will be sustained in every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we want to, we are in for something great. And just as we put it on the platform, it's a night of settlement. If you understand that, that phrase from Ezekiel 36, verse 11, of course, he said, I will come back to that much, much later. He said, God said, I will settle you. But before then, we want to spend some time to worship God. And I want to read from Psalm 103. It's a popular verse we know very well. I'm reading from Psalm 103 from verse 1. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul. Brothers and sisters, if you're on this platform, you should learn to bless God. You should learn to honor God. You should learn to appreciate God for all the wonders of our God. No calamity in our family. No any kidnapping in our family. No sadness in our family. No loss of any life in our family. It's enough for us to thank God. January, we started January just like yesterday. It has come and gone. And of course, it has become history. It has gone into history. And here we are in the second month of the year. Say, God, thank you. Look at the way God has been fighting our battle for us. When we sleep in the night, he's fighting for us. When we wake up and we are moving on the on the road, he's fighting for us. When we are in our workplace, he's fighting for us. When we are traveling from one place to another, he's fighting for us. Look at the way God has been granting us the victory. Victory over the enemy. Victory over the powers of darkness. Victory over the forces of darkness. Victory over all the unseen arrows of the enemy. And that's the more reason why we are going to appreciate God. He said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. He said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We want to open our mouth this night, brethren. We want to say, Father, thank you. Shall we please lift up our voices unto God? And begin to praise him tonight. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. And say, Father, we are God, we are grateful. Open your mouth and begin to adore him. Let's give him all the praises tonight. Let's give him all the admiration tonight. Let's give him all the honor tonight. Thank him because he's the great God. Let's thank him because he's a mighty God. Let's thank him because he's an excellent God. Let's thank him because of his strength and his power upon our lives. We want to pray the Lord to bless the Lord. You know how much God has been doing in your life, in my life. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, I'm grateful unto you. Righteous God, I am grateful. Thank you, we want to bless the Lord. God, everlasting Father, we bless you. God, we praise you. God, we honor you. God, we magnify you. God, we exalt you. God, we adore you. God, we respect you. Father, we say, give me God. I'm worthy to be glorified. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord, brethren. Open your mouth and bless God. Open your mouth and adore Him once again tonight. Let's give Him all the praises. Let's give Him all the adoration. Let's thank Him because of what He has been doing for us. How He has been fighting our battle for us. Give Him all the victory in the day and the night. Let's magnify the Lord and bless God. Let's worship God. Let's Let's magnify the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I'm opening my Bible to uh, I mean to Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel chapter 36. That is our prayer, prayer focus. focus. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 36. And I want to read from verse 11. Please, as we are reading this verse of the scripture, I want us to take it as a real prayer request. I want us I want to, to take it as a prayer request. And that's why I want us to pray with all our heart. We don't really commit ourselves into God tonight. Because it's a real time for God to set to us. It's a real time for God to set to us. You know, as we are reading this part of the scripture, that reminds me of so many things that have been happening. Perhaps you have been praying for, for one particular thing in your life. Either spiritual settlements, mm -hmm. or financial settlements, or physical settlements, or, marri or marital settlements. You know, look at families that are not settled. Look at where there are confusion. Look at where the, the family have been thrown into disarray. And it appears as if the husband and the wife, they are not in good terms. Or maybe the parents and the children, they are not in good terms. And it appears as if things are not going on well. That's why we are praying for settlements. Maybe some of us here, we have been struggling to survive, struggling to make ends meet. And we have been saying, God, how long? When are you going to settle me? When are you going to do my own? When are you going to give me testimony? That's why we are praying for settlement tonight. Look at that Ezekiel 36 verse 11. He said, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. There will be fruitfulness tonight. That's what God is talking about. He said, in our lives, in our homes, in our family, there is going to be fruitfulness. Then he said, I will say to you, I will say to you, I love that statement. This is coming from the mouth of the Almighty God. It's not me that said it. It's God Almighty that said it. And he said, I will say to you, you have been asking God for settlement. You have been saying, God, when am I going to settle in my own house? When am I going to settle in my own land? When am I going to settle in my own family? When are you going to say to me? We want to pray tonight. He said, I will say to you, after your old estate, look at the word follow again. He said, I will do better unto you. This year, God has promised us great things. He has promised that this year, he's not going to pass any one of us by. Because look at the month that we have even entered in. February. F for favor. It's a month of favor. F for fulfillment. It's a month of fulfillment. F is a month that God is going to fight our battle for us and give us total victory. And he said, I will say to you, and I will mm. do better unto you, even than your beginnings. Look at your beginning. It was very rough. Look at your beginning. It has been zigzag. Look at your beginning. It has not been that easy. It was full of struggle. It has been full of a lot of challenges here and there. But God said, I will do better unto you. Meaning that this year, it's a year of better things. This year, it's a year of wonderful things. That's why tonight we want to call upon the name of the Lord. We want to cry to God. We want to send our we want to send our prayer request unto God. We want to call upon God and say, God, tonight is my night, oh God. Remember me and say to me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, it is time you said to me. It is time you said to me, oh King of glory. Open your mouth and begin to call upon him. Let's call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, Lord, in your power, in your greatness and authority, oh God, begin to say to every one of us on this platform. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Some of our pastors have been living a kind of struggle that struggled life, struggling to survive, struggling to meet ends me, struggling to feed the family, struggling to do one thing or the other, struggling to pay house rent, struggling to pay school fee, struggling to be able to meet up with one thing or the other. You want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, this is my year, oh God. 
January is going to go again. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's cry to God. Let's cry to heaven. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The Lord wants to hear us pray. Can I hear you praying, brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the Lord this night. And ask God and say, God, in your goodness and power, in your majesty and sovereignty, begin to say to me, oh God, all round settlement, oh God, in my life, oh God, tonight. All round settlement, oh God, in my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, my time has come. My time has come, oh God of heaven, for me to be settled. I must be settled tonight. Blind Bartimaeus realized that very fast. When he heard that Jesus was passing through Jericho, he said, no, if Jesus will not pass me by. What about you tonight? Will you allow Jesus Christ to pass you by? Will you, will you allow the Prince of Peace to pass you by? Will you allow the King of Kings to pass you by? Why don't you open your mouth and begin to pray to him and say, Lord, oh Lord, say to me tonight, oh God, as you have promised, he said, I will say to you after your own estate. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. And say, God of heaven, oh Lord, say to me, oh God, in the presence of your power, financially say to me, spiritually Say to me, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord that God of heaven will say to us in our various families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this year is going to be testimony galore. It's going to be a time of celebration. A time of celebration for you and your wife, for you and your children. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm not hearing our voices. Please, if you can hear me. Are you Amen. hearing my voice? Yes. Please, are we hearing my voice at all? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. We want to ask God and say, God, we are here tonight once again. Visit everyone on this platform. Every individual represented on this platform, oh God, all the garment of shame, all the garment of reproaches, all the garment of sorrow, all the garment of affliction, all the garment of sicknesses. You want to tear them and burn them into ashes. That garment of affliction is not meant for you and for me. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, all the garment of sorrow, all the garment of affliction, oh God, we tear them into pieces, we burn them with fire. Even tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Every contrary garment, all the garment of reproach, all the garment of suffering and sadness, all the garment of affliction will tear them into pieces tonight by the fire of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, failure is not meant for us in this new year. Affliction is not meant for you and for me this year. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. All the garment of childlessness and badness, you want to pray and say, God will tear them into pieces. We we'll tear them into pieces tonight. We burn them with the fire of God. Let everything be burned with fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Are we praying? Are we hearing my voice? Open your mouth and pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Let's ask God to say to us tonight, oh God, every contrary garment of shame, oh Lord, tonight, oh God, we tear them into pieces tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, if you can hear my voice, I'm not hearing our voices, but if you can hear me, we want to pray tonight. We want to tell the Lord 
as the Lord has promised us in that Ezekiel 36 verse 11. He said, I will do better unto you than your beginnings. You are going to tell the Lord, oh God of heaven, give you a better life. Lord, that God in his mighty power, in his supremacy and power, he will give unto us a better life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Oh Lord God, that will bless it all that do new things in our life, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, do better things in our life. Father, now do better things in our life. Oh Lord God, now do better things, do better than the beginning. Oh Lord God, you never will have seen some good things in life already. We are praying that the better things are going to your promise, oh Lord. Father, do, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, do better things in our life. Oh Lord, we now do better things in our life. My Lord, do do better things in our life. Oh Lord, we now do better things in our life. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we now we pray that in the name of God. Our lives, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. I lift up every pastor in this platform, Lord, into your hands. Every brother, every sister in this platform. Brethren, we are still here, we are here to pray. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. There are some of our brethren who are going through challenges in their lives, marital wise. Things are not going on well. There is a kind of satanic invasion to the family. And it appears as if the enemy is fighting to the nail to scatter the families. But we are going to pray. The Bible says, resist the devil. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We want to pray. Every satanic invasion in those families. Families of our brethren. And they are crying in silence. And say, God, why is my own family like this? We want to pray and tell the Lord, all the forces of darkness, all the anxiety of the enemy, bringing division. We want to pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, the caterpillar of heaven, who begin to push them out, who begin to flush out all those powers of darkness. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Are you praying with aggression with your mouth? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every kingdom that has been established in those families, let the kingdom of that begin to come out now. Let them begin to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. All the forces of darkness dominating the heart of the family. Either in the act of the wife or the act of the husband or in the act of the children, continue to hear and hear all the manipulation from the spirit realm. We call down and we collapse every kingdom of the heaven tonight. We call down the darkness 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 tonight. We call down Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to pray. We want to tell the Lord tonight that family where there have been confusion. And it appears as if the wife cannot, doesn't want to see the husband again. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Try to think about it. When they first started this relationship, it was, I love you, I love you. I want to marry you. And then they exchanged exchange pleasantries. And then things began to go on. All of a sudden, 
How is it that love has suddenly become hatred? How is it that love has suddenly become bitterness? Sweetness has turned to bitterness. The enemy has done this. The enemy has done this. That's what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 13. We are going to pray tonight. Every handwriting of the enemy, all the powers of darkness that has come, that has taken that entered into that family, that has invaded our territory. We are going to pray tonight. The power of God will swallow them up. The Holy Ghost will begin to swallow them up. They will lose their power. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and call upon the name of the Lord. And Let's then, call upon the begin to arise and all the all enemies, all the call enemies of those families, enemies, enemies of the of progress in the family. Let them be scattered in the mighty Lord, name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. All the fiery dark of the wicked that have been fired into the family. Fire arrows of division, arrows of disharmony, arrows of confusion, arrows of calamity. We want to pray. Say go tonight. We'll send the battle where it's coming from tonight. We'll return those arrow back to the same. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth. In the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, pray, open your mouth and pray. Pray with confidence. Pray with assurance in your heart. Pray with boldness in your heart. Because the Lord is answering our prayer tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We want to pray still for the family concern. We are going to ask God tonight and say, God, you will settle that family. You will settle the family. The Prince of Peace will come into that family. You know when the Prince of Peace come in? Peace will enter. Confusion will go away. When the Prince of Peace enter, war will cease. Calamity will cease. Disharmony will cease. Division will cease. Taking one another to God we cease because the Prince of Peace will come in. Why don't you open your mouth and say, Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Come into that family. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight because there must be settlement. There must be settlement tonight. It must be established in the court of heaven. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, let the Prince of Peace begin oh, to take absolute control and begin to, to, begin to come in into arise, the home, oh, into Lord, the family. Arise, Open your mouth and begin to call oh, upon the Lord. Arise, oh, Lord. Pray. Oh, Lord. Pray. Oh, Lord. Pray. Every family where the wine is disappearing. Let's Father call upon God, the name of the Lord tonight. Let the Prince of Peace, of peace begin to reign in that family now. That in the mighty name of the Lord. Lord. The that Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus Christ, we come into the family we reign supremely. You know, the family concerned now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray because it's possible we have some of our brethren who are going through some turbulence in their lives. And the enemy have been attacking left and right, attacking here and there. But we are going to pray. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord, that the Lord will arise and show mercy. In Psalm 102, verse 13, he said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, upon those brethren concerned. Put your name there. Thou shalt arise and have Thou mercy upon, arise. Our, upon our soul. For the Peter. time to favor us, the time to favor us, I told you that February is the month of favor. It's the month of fulfillment. It's the month of special <laughs> favor. Favor us this month. Favor us this year. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let God arise and begin to show us his mercy. And the favor of God will come upon our lives. We come into our family. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. What we need tonight is the favor of God. What we need tonight is the favor of God. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I Father, need your favor. Call before your so mercy. for natural favor of God. Pray, oh Lord, I need to pray, brethren, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. That the God in his Lord. mercy will favor us on every side. In the name this month of Jesus. is a month of favor. It's a month of settlement God. in our lives. It's a month of laughter. Pray, oh Lord, a month that we are going to celebrate and we are going to rejoice. A month that we are going to jubilate because of the great things that God of heaven will do in our people. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. 
Let God begin to visit the people tonight and grant unto us even that divine supernatural favor. Favor on every side, favor in the day, favor in the night, favor at all times when we go and favor, when we come in favor. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. Amen. I read the word of God once again in Psalm 105. And I want to read from verse 13 to 15. It concerns you and your family. It concerns all our brethren on the platform, all our pastors, all our brothers, all our sisters on this platform. I wish you can pray this prayer with all your hearts. In Psalm 105, in verse 13, he said, When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another, I don't know how, you have been, how the journey of your life has been. You have been moving from one place to another, moving from one city to another, moving from one territory to another. But the Bible tells us, he said, He suffered no man to do them wrong. That's it. Well, that was the testimony about the children of Israel. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Stop my anointing and do my prophet no harm. We want to pray tonight, brethren, as we go through life, as we go through the year 2024, you are going to pray and say, God, envelope me with your power. Envelope my family with your power. No power of darkness will be able to touch us. No power of darkness will be able to touch my wife. No power of darkness will be able to touch my children. No power of darkness will be able to touch my husband. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. God will envelope us with his power. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. And say, God, the God of heaven will rebuke all those agents of darkness on your behalf. When you are sleeping, he will keep you. When you are on, when you are awake and you are going on the way, he will keep you. Any moment, any way you find yourself, he will keep us. Open your mouth and begin to pray. He said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. That was that is the promise of God for us. Pray and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, give me by your mighty power once again, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. O King of glory, keep us. By your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord tonight. That the Lord will help us with this little by his mighty supernatural power. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for all the prayer requests on the platform. Of course, I cannot begin to mention every one of them. All, every, all the prayer requests we have on the platform, we want to table them before the Lord. We are going to ask God and say, God of heaven. The Lord will intervene. The Lord will answer every prayer. He will grant speedy answer to all the requests on our prayer platform. On the prayer request one, on the prayer request two, the Almighty God will answer them to the letter. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, all the prayer requests presented before you tonight, O God. Answer everything, O God of heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, grant speedy answer to all the requests to God tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. This is a new week. You are going to tell the Lord, God, empower me. As we start this new week today, the hand of God will be upon each and every one of us. The mighty hand of God will rest upon us. As you are going out, you are going out in the strength of the Lord. You are going out in the power of the Lord. You are going out in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Everything we lay our hands upon. 
it shall prosper in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you to God in prayer as we round up this section. Open your mouth and pray. Let's call upon the Lord. And say, God of heaven, O oh God, let the mighty hand of God, let it be upon every one of us. The Lord will prosper all our movement, everything we lay our, our hands upon in our business enterprise, in our workplaces, whether you're on your own, you're a private business owner, the Almighty God will begin to bless the work of our hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Open your mouth and pray to God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want Pastor Peter to help us round up this prayer section. Our beloved Pastor Peter, please, can you please help us round up this section? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for your love, for your kindness towards us. We thank you for all that you have been doing for us. We thank you for bringing us into the first Sunday of the second month of this year. We thank you for the great and mighty things you did for us. January, this part of the world is always very tough. But Lord, you took us through. For as I should be that exalted, do Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for this new month. And the new Sunday, the first Sunday of the month, we exalt your name for the wonderful blessings you bestowed upon us today. In our various we adore you know, you know, your name for all that you have done for us. We give you glory for your word that is here and amen in our lives. O oh Lord, we are praying that as we are coming to this new month, that you favor every one of us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord, go now we pray. Because it's the only one that is favored by heaven and favored, favored on earth. earth. It's the only one that is favored by you, O oh Lord, that is favored all around. Father, we are Father, committing all of us to all around, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for our pastors that we are using in this platform. We lift them all before you. We pray as they walk day in, day out, as they serve in this place. We know that you are a God that do not owe a man. Father, said to all of them, and meet them in the point of their needs and surprise them this month, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All the plans of the devil to bring discouragement to the heart of our uh, people. Father, we cancel them and we destroy them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we continue in the prayer tonight, O oh Lord, we pray that your power will continue with us. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O oh Lord. Thank in you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's continue in the mood of prayer. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for leaders of today's prayer that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God has made them spiritual leaders all what they need to carry the congregation to the promised land. God will continue to bestow them upon in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord on behalf of Pastor Shigun and Pastor Father, Peter. That by the power and the Lord, the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon them. God, mm. the mighty hand of the Lord will be upon them. In their ministry, God is going to expand in the name of Jesus Christ. When we are calling about the ministry of prayer, there's a one kind, there's a one church in Nigeria. Immediately you mention this church, you did not that no, we are fire in prayer. Uh, this is what our, our leader has been doing for us here. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. More anointing, the extend one in the ministry, the expand one in the ministry. That raise one head up in the ministry. 
that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to give to them in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's pray for Pastor Peter. Let's pray for Pastor, uh, Pastor Shegun. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, this is an hour. God has delegated, God has given to them the ability to expand the, the grace, ability to expand the code. The ability able to take that hour beyond expectation. That they call upon the name of the Lord that God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are talking about all our fathers. And we are talking about yes, he started it, he started a started with the same member. When we are talking about our from our fathers, you know, we look for you. We know how many people they started. When we are talking about our pastors, all the other that started the card, we know how many people they have started. Yet God has given them the opportunity. When we look at how many of us that we are now, I think we are more than eight. When you are looking at the people that are living on YouTube, they are about seven or six. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That's how the people we are mentioning they are starting. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the grace expand the ministry God has given to them. On the garden of the eagle, God will give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. I know it from above. I know it from above. I know I'm nothing for above. I'm nothing for above. But the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. In one year to this time, in two years to this time, they will be able to say, Yes, during the before the garden of the garden of the eagle before, we are no more than this. But now, because God has gave us the umbrella, God gave us the key to carry the hour beyond our expectation, we are counting hundred, we are counting two hundred, we are counting three hundred, we are counting four hundred. That will be the portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. More wisdom, more knowledge, more anointing on their dedication to the program. God will aid it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for their family. Let's pray for their family. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, their family will not be an hindrance to the assignment God has given to them in the name of Jesus Christ. They through this program, they will not be an hindrance to the growth of their family in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a special program God has given to them. We can say God can be together on an hour. What a, what, what a big name. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, ability to loot, ability to find, ability to, ability, 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 ability to speak to the people, to, to able to, 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 able to stay on the, on, on the program. And people will be having salvation. People will be having sanctification. People will be having Holy Spirit baptism. God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty, Almighty Father is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. And we call some people, they, they call some people the broadcast in the world. And they will be looking for just one hour from one radio station. They will be looking for just two hours from one radio station. By the grace of the Lord, our God has provided one hour for our, our leader. Pastor Shekou and Pastor Peter, let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, grace are beyond the grace. Grace are beyond the grace. That we give them, that we continue to, I mean, to continue to hammer it to them. That you need to expand this program. You need to do better in, in this program. You need to put more in this in this program. God will give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for more anointing. Let's pray for more anointing for Pastor Peter and Pastor Jesus. Let's pray for more anointing for Pastor Peter and Pastor Jesus. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the kind of anointing God gives to the Peter, the God of anointing God gives to the young, the kind of anointing God gives to the disciples, to able to do it. Let's pray for their family that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as they have taken up this assignment, their generation will not lack any food in one person that will be standing before Almighty God throughout the throughout forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Throughout this program, the gathering of the eagle, people in the world will know them. Throughout this program, the gathering of the people, churches will be inviting them. 
throughout this program, the gathering of the people, the, the, the members will be calling them. Throughout this gathering of the member of the, of, of the gathering of the people, the bishop, the pastor will be calling them. That we have been listening to you on the gathering of the, of the evil. Now, every Sunday, on, every Sunday on Sunday, come and pray to us. Come and pray for us. Come and do this for us. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, they see it as a little beginning. God will expand, expand this, this ministry in their hand in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open their eyes to see that this is a great opportunity to able to, to oh, no. able to establish themselves in the Lord. In this program, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. All entrances, all entrances that may want to be a stopping block for them not to be able to establish their authority on this program. God is going to remove in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Because of this meaning, we shall be support. We shall be a supporting pillar to them in the name of Jesus Christ. And they are heard by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We will not become sin. 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 Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That the grace of the Lord will continue to be sufficient for them. That the mighty hand of the Lord will continue to be sufficient for them. That all mighty God will continue to uphold them. Let's call upon them. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That strength, the strength, the strength, the energy, the spiritual strength, the energy they need to able to take this program beyond the expectation, beyond the beyond limitation, beyond this present position that God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we are praying for them now, they will be thinking, their eyes will be open. That yeah, this is a great opportunity. If we can be having one hour on YouTube on every Sunday, and hear me in Kogi, they are hearing them in Lagos, they are hearing them in Kano, they are hearing them in Kaduna, they are hearing them in all over the world, they are hearing them. People who are in Britain are ready to hear them. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, ability to retain, uh, ability to retain anointing, ability to call for anointing, ability to see the eyes of the Lord on this. Program, God is going to give them in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this more thing they have seen, God will expand it to, the, to them in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the, as God has given them this opportunity, we will have the opportunity. We are by they will be preached. We are by they are prayed. And people will say, go and look at the YouTube. Look at the chair, go oh, well, I mean, look at the Peter, look at the Peter, look at them, go and look to, to this to, to this their prayer, and God is going to do you good. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. So, so, that shall be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. That shall be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. That shall be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for all those people who are donating, who are donating for this program that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not lack. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not lack. There are certain things that is very uh, that, that, that is very sure. The individual in the individual talent is not the same. God gives some people to able to get good orator. God gives some people to able to, to analyze something. God gives some people to able to do one thing or the other. There are two particular people on this online that God has been using to finance the program. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I've heard of a man in Nigeria. I've heard of a man in Nigeria in a very long time. And then, all what he does is just to be financing, to be financing people. And if you see the how God promoted him, his name is Nigeria is unique. You nobody share the name with him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. For these people that have dedicated themselves for the sponsoring of our program, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will establish them in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of them may not even think that they, they need to have it. Many of them may not even think they need to have, they need to have one, 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 one company or the other. Many of them may not even be thinking that God can establish their name beyond expectation. Let, Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Because they are throwing in the fire of Almighty God, they will live abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. They will live abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. They will reap abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. They will I pray for our dad, mommy, and daddy that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not lack. 
they will not lack. They will not lack. They are yeah, giving to Almighty God. Almighty God is going to reward them abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not beg before they eat. Their children will not beg before they eat. They will not do for food before they eat. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, as they are looking to the front, they will be receiving blessing. As they are looking to the right, they are going to be receiving blessing. As they are looking to the left, they are going to be receiving blessing. As they are looking at their back, they are going to be receiving blessing. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, in million fold, more than a succession, God is going to do it in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to prove himself to them. God is going to prove himself to them. God is going to prove himself to them. Let God is going to prove himself to them. Let's pray for all these dollars that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not beg. They will not beg before they spend money. They will not beg before they spend money. They will be a dominion over the money in the name of Jesus Christ. They have sold. They have sold to the life of many people that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to sow to their life in Jesus' name. We have one of our brother online. He need, he need a life partner. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Christ, God is going to provide a good life partner for uh, for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. A good wife. A good wife. God is going to provide for that. No matter the no matter the condition, Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to provide the bone of his bone, the flesh of his flesh for him in the name of Jesus Christ. And the name of the Lord, and the name of the Lord shall be glorified. When, by the time he goes to the marriage, the name of the Lord shall be glorified in Jesus' name. Let's pray for our children. Let's pray for our children. We are in the last lap, the last lap of, our, of our prayer of today. Let's pray for our children. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, devil will not enter them. Devil will not enter them. Devil will not enter them. They will use their they will use their life to glorify the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for your children. Remember their name. Remember the activities. You look at them before you as if you have seen them. Don't put your hand upon their head spiritually. Call upon the name of the Lord. Say, my son, this, 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 you shall be prosper. Say, my son, this, 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 you shall be prosper. Say, my daughter, this, 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 this you shall be prosper. Oh, you could, 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 you where we open for your children? Where we open for my children? Where we open for your children? Where we open for my children? Where we open for your children? Where we open for your for my children? Where we open for your children? Where we open for my children? All the generation courses, all the country courses, all the time courses that in this town they don't do this. That in the our family they don't do this. That in this family they don't do this. We remove it in the life of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. We remove it in the life of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Your children shall be prosper. My children shall be prosper. Whatsoever, 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 whatsoever that children lay his hand upon shall be trusted in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever that my children lay their hand upon shall be trusted in the name of Jesus Christ. They will walk in the glory of the Lord. They will walk in the anointing of the Lord. They will walk in the faithful of the Lord. They will walk in the glory of the Lord. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Remove every insanity. Remove 
every so, hindrance. The most every blockage in the life of your children. Oh, open the for them. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as you are open and you pray for them tonight, every is open and you pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. And the glory of the Lord shall shine upon them. The glory of the Lord shall shine upon them. The hand of the Lord shall shine upon them. They will be directed by God. They will be controlled by God. God will lead them in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, a million fold, they will be greater than you. A million fold, my children will be fragile than me. Call upon the name of the Lord, they will not fall into problem. They will not fall into problem. They will not fall into trial that have meaningless to them in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord will continue to lead them. The glory of the Lord will continue to lead them. Our children shall succeed. Our children shall be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our Father, we thank you this night. Thank you, thank you so much for the way you have led us tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your demonstration for the demonstration of your power. Thank you because Lord. all the requests we have tabled before you, you have answered them because we believe. Please, please, Lord, please, much please, more than please. what you have requested, you will answer us and give us speedy answers to all our requests in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that all that everyone is asking from you is settlement this year. Yes. Settlement, yes. private settlement, family settlement. Financial settlement, material settlement, family settlement, marital settlement, settlement in one area or the other, in the area of employment and all other things. Lord, I pray, God, in your power, your sovereignty, you will settle everyone on this platform tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Peter can round up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our uh, Father will worship and bless Amen. you for the great and mighty things you'll be doing for us. We thank you for the prayer meeting of this night. We thank you for your son who used to anchor the program. We pray that all the virtue that has gone out of him, you will restore back hundredfold in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And every area is looking up to you, saying, God, when am I going to get you? When is this going to happen? When am I going to get that? Father, we pray, oh Lord, for his steadfastness on this program. Father, surprise him and bestow your power of favor upon him and open doors for him. That no man can shout in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I'll commit our leader, Pastor Matthew Lord, into your hands. Father, you know all things. You know what is happening to him. Oh Lord, we pray that you stand by him at this time, oh Lord. Amen. Father, stand by him at this time, oh Lord. Every plan Amen. of the devil to scatter that family we cancel and turn all their plan to naught in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All those that are joined and with the wife, Father, we pray that your spirit will come down upon them and restore her back to her husband and bring that family back together again in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for Pastor Bani. Thank you for Pastor Yomi. We thank you for all our leaders, those on and those that are not on. All our prayers visit everyone Amen. of us one by one. The one Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. So bless every one of us and Amen. put testimony in our base. Thank Amen. you, Lord, for the answer prayers. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. By the grace of the Lord, we shall meet in the uh, divine intervention of Serene Law. To is it 12 o'clock midnight here? Yeah, 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 yeah. in Nigeria in, in the morning. Mm-hmm. It will be anchored by Pastor Yomi. Thank you. God bless you all. Let's share the Thank grace you, together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the love of God, God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now for the Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall be with the Lord forever and ever. And ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Sabi. We we'll see you. Sir. God bless you. God bless you, sirs. Thank you. God bless you, sirs. Thank you. Jesus Thank you very much. You can sit down. I welcome 
every one of you to this Sunday revival in Jesus' name. Let the anointing of the Lord will come upon your life. The anointing that breaks every yoke. The anointing that destroys the works of the devil. Tonight will be your night in Jesus' name. And the common miracle will come unto you. The power will be manifested in your life. Tonight you're going to have a testimony in Jesus' name. Tonight, as we come to this great red ring, I need two passages of scriptures to you. One in lamentation, and the other one in Ezekiel. One in the book of lamentation, and I'm reading from chapter 3 of lamentation. I'm reading there from verse 15. And then I will jump over to Ezekiel. There's a connection between those two passages tonight. Look at Lamentation chapter 3, verse 15. He has filled me with bitterness. You notice one word there, it's called bitterness. He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunken with one wood. He has also broken my teeth with grave stones. He has covered me with ashes. And thou hast removed my soul far off from peace. I forget prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope is buried from the Lord. Remembering my affliction and my mystery, the warm words and the God. My soul has them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. Now, if you notice one word in verse 15, it has filled me with bitterness. I want you to pick that word, bitter. There's lamentation all over the world. In our city here, there's lamentation almost everywhere. There's a lamentation that talks of bitterness. And life is bitter. In the family, there's bitterness. In the community, there's bitterness. As we look at poverty, as we look at affliction, as we look at suffering, as we look at all the deprivations of people. There's one word you can talk about. And there's something you can point out as what has happened to people or what is happening to people. And it's the one word Peter that explains everything. Now I'm coming to Ezekiel chapter 36. And there you'll find that connection. Between the passage I read to you in Lamentation and the passage we're looking at in Ezekiel, in Ezekiel chapter 36, I'm reading from verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 11. It says, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and it shall increase. Here is the promise of the Lord. The Lord is giving us a promise here. And he's saying, I will. Actually, as you look at this chapter, all over, over, and over, and over again, the Lord tells us what he will do. He will do something in your life tonight. Somebody there has said they will do something in your life tonight. And then he says, I will. 
There is the willingness of God in your life today. The faithfulness of God in your life today. The power of God in your life today is going to change the bitter situation in your life today in Jesus' name. That's why it says, and I will multiply upon you man and beast. And they shall increase. I will bring fruit. Fruitfulness will come to our lives in Jesus' name. Where there is barrenness, where there is sickness, where there is suffering, where there is affliction, the Lord is going to turn everything around. And then he tells us that I will settle you after your old estates. First of talking to, talking to the children of Israel. As a nation talking to them. The prosperity they knew in the past. Which they couldn't see anymore. The peace of God they had in the past. Which they didn't have anymore. And the security they had in the past. Which they couldn't have anymore. The Lord was saying. Although the story is like a bitter story everywhere. A bitter situation everywhere. And a bitter kind of suffering everywhere. A painful condition everywhere. The Lord is saying a time of change had come for that nation. And for you here tonight, a time of change has come. A time of transformation has come. And a time of miracle has come to you tonight in Jesus' name. And then if you look at that verse 11 of Ezekiel 36, he says, and I will do better unto you than at your beginnings. He said, it's going to turn every situation around in our lives. And you shall know that I am the Lord. He said, a practical knowledge will come to you. That he is the Lord. The Lord God of miracles. And the Lord God of power. And the Lord God of all impossibilities. And the Lord that comes to your life tonight. And he says it's going to turn your crying to laughter. It's going to turn your sorrow to joy. And it's going to turn the suffering. It's going to bring wonders in your life in Jesus' name. What's the connection between lamentation and Ezekiel? In lamentation, when people lament, they cry. When people lament, they are sorrowful. When people lament, it's like things have turned upside down. That's why lamentation says, all you can say about life is that life is bitter. And as lamentation talks about being bitter, personal life bitter, family bitter, community bitter, employment situation bitter, economy bitter, everything appears to be bitter. And we cannot have a place of peace and the joy and the prosperity and the good things we used to have. We cannot see them. We cannot have them. And so we get into lamentation. And the one word you find in lamentation Peter, 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 here comes Ezekiel, and he brings another word, and 